Ice Hogs fans, welcome to season number two of the Ice Hogs Minute. I am Mike Peck, joined by Slavko Bekovic, and we're here at Elliott Golf Course. It's Ice Hogs Golf Outing Day. We're going to talk a little golf. We're going to talk a little season preview for the Rockford Ice Hogs because essentially the preseason is in the books. Technically, it doesn't end till Friday, but uh, the team's all ready to roll for the season op- opener. Last two wins there late in the preseason, they came back in that second game at home in the uh, opener there at the BMO, and then that game against Peoria to close it out, a nice 5-3 victory. So the team's got some chemistry, a lot of guys coming back from next year. It's going to be exciting to see how they can do once the season starts. One thing that I noticed about the preseason Slavko is the team got better as the exhibition schedule went on. I know it was only a week, it was only three games, small sample size, but you know I think that's a sign right there that this team has some good chemistry because of all the returning players from, from last season and even two seasons ago. And I think if you're Ted Dent, that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see the team progress game by game and get better until ultimately you peak somewhere in the middle of the season, hopefully at the end of the season right mm-hmm. before you get into the playoffs. A couple of areas for me that I'd like to see the team continue to improve on. It's funny saying that because the season hasn't even technically started, but a couple of things I noticed in the preseason. Number one, slow starts. All three games, the team fell behind uh, and got off to sluggish starts despite getting two wins, but in the long run, you got to get off to better starts in hockey games. And you can look at that the other way. It's a game of adjustments. and In the intermissions, the team's getting together and really talking about what they need to work on and improve on as the course of the game goes on, and they're making those adjustments and coming out with the W's. That's all that matters in the end. And the second thing I noticed in the preseason for the Ice Hogs, the penalty kill, which wasn't very good. Uh, the Wolves traditionally, with the exception of last year, have really haunted the Hogs on, on the power play, uh, but they scored three power play goals in the first exhibition game, and the Ice Hogs gave up three more power play goals over the next two contests. So, again, it's preseason. It not, the lines weren't necessarily all together, but still, you, you, the penalty kill is an area that uh, the team really will have to focus on because it, last year it was so hot and cold. And the special teams is one of the things that they're going to work on, and, and that's kind of one of the things that they have to progress. The, the team's still learning the systems, and they keep mentioning systems, 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 and that's going to come with practice and game experience and really you can't get better until you see it in a game and get that experience and and try to kill the penalties and get those power play goals so we'll see how things progress as the season wears on well that's hockey let's talk a little golf it's a little windy out here right now if you can't tell from the wind whipping through our microphone not as warm as it was for last year's golf outing but a great cause today the junior street hogs is where all the proceeds are going to go uh we're looking forward to a great day of uh, of golf out here i'm excited to see which of these guys can actually swing the club a little bit as opposed to hitting those slap shots on the ice so we have almost a full uh, outing here today at elliott golf course but uh we got the first Ice Hogs Minute in the book. There Good we job. Go. All right, that's Lavko. I'm Mike. We'll talk to you soon on icehogs.com.